So here's a, here's an effort from from last year that we had to do. Mr. President, we cannot keep spending all this money on Iraq and Afghanistan. Yes, we, yes can. we can. No, we can't. We need that money here for health care, affordable housing, education. Don't you understand? Right. Uh, what do you want me to do? Well, you can start by reading the cost of war briefings we just sent you, and then you can bring the troops home. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And if that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. And if that diamond ring turns brass, Mama's gonna buy you a looking glass. And if that looking glass is gold. I can see my loved ones in attendance to help me celebrate on this joyous occasion. All my hard work's paid off, I'm graduating. All the effort I put in through the years, what I miss most so I'm in. Uh, the IRS has uh, has put a lien 
on our bank account twice for uh, two years of uh, taxes that we refused. And some people say, well, what's the point? It's, it's useless. And I think from my feeling, if the Pentagon came around to our front door with a basket and said, we've got these new dr drone planes that can drop bombs on people and kill lots of people, uh, lots of them innocent, and please contribute $5,000. Uh, I think very few of us would give them even five cents. But if then, after being refused, they go and break in our back door and find some money that we have hidden under the mattress and take it, at least we haven't voluntarily uh, supported this uh, horrendous killing of our brothers and sisters. I envision a world in which the Pentagon has to have big sales to pay for their bombs and to pay the generals. <laughs> and that there are, there's plenty of money for our schools, our libraries, our Head Start programs, our seniors, for health care for every American. And I'm grateful that the uh, National War Tax Resistance Coordinating Council is assisting people all over, this, all over this country to begin to move us toward that world where the Pentagon's going to have to have break sales uh, instead of taking uh, the lion's share of our uh, taxes and our hard-earned money. So I'd like to, uh, to uh, present this, um, this contribution to Erica Wieland, who's on the Administrative Committee of the uh, War Tax Resistance Coordinating Council. New Trick is uh, very pleased to accept the grant money from um, the People's Life Fund. Um, with, without New Trick, I'm not sure if I would have thought of war tax resistance. Um, and it was because the organization existed and because I was able to find information about war tax resistance on the internet from um, war tax resistors and um, war tax resistance supporters that you know I can say you know, I am a war tax resistor. Um, and the information that NUTRIC provides to people all over the country about war tax resistance is um, invaluable to continuing to grow and sustain um, a movement of people who cannot pay for war. So um, I'm really uh, pleased to be here and to um, you know, accept this grant on behalf of NUTRIC as one of my last official duties as an outgoing member of the administrative <laughs> So, thank you very much. So, this evening, um, we promised to be out of the building at 10, but we still have time for if, if Mr. Sarah would come up and answer a few questions for us, and perhaps we'd have time for another song. Does that sound okay? If <laughs>